Well, we are live. Yes, hello. My organized dot life. Live. Live. The very first episode here on Facebook. And I say first episode because we are going to attempt to do this every, every day. weekday. Every, yeah, every weekday. Monday 2 p.m. Central Time. Correct. So let's do a test. What does that mean? 2 o'clock Central means noon Pacific and 3 o'clock Eastern. Right. Okay. There you Good. go. Well, this is a show where we're going to give you organizing tips, advice, uh, and get your feedback and questions. In fact, right now, we'd love to hear from you right now. Where are you watching from? And we'll also, if you have comments or if you struggle with things like uh, organization and things like that, uh, maybe some of your common organizing right. tips. Yeah. Um, and we'll take it from there. We'll see if you any. We'll see if anyone's actually watching. <laughs> I'm sure they're watching out there. It says we're live. Hopefully. So if you can hear us, you know that would be great. You can say hi. You can throw Wave, us some. Wave, wink. You can you know. throw us some of those hearts or whatever <laughs> like that, and see what you can uh, find. But yep. uh, um, anyway, uh, so today uh, well, we should probably explain what the show is going to be about. I mean, we great. you yes. did a little bit, but That's we're right. kind of going to have a daily theme. Yes. So Mondays, our goal is to kind of throwback to an old podcast. Yeah. We have doesn't rhyme very well with throwback Monday, but you know no. we have over TBM, 200, we have over 200 podcasts yep. at smead.com. So uh, so we're going to talk about uh, some of those themes because they're evergreen. Uh, we're going to bring on professional organizers yep. to talk about these organizing challenges and how how you overcome them. So yep. um, so yeah, Monday is going to be the um, you know podcast recap. Tuesdays we're going to go to an article. We have you know, a couple hundred articles on our website and a lot of that content not al always gets found. So right. we're going to kind of dig through our archives and talk about some old content that might be of interest to people. Right. Um, Wednesdays, why don't you talk about Wednesdays? Well, Wednesdays, you know, we've been doing a podcast for five years. Has uh, it? It's it, been five it's, years? We're in, the, well, we're in the fifth season okay. right wow. now. And starting this Wednesday, and we'll talk a little bit more about that later, we are going to be releasing our podcast live right here on Facebook. It's the first place you'll be able to listen oh, or, yeah. or watch them. So that'll be Wednesday's show. will be kind of like Podcast Wednesday with yep. the new episodes. Thursdays, we're going to maybe do a product demo of some sort, maybe... Yeah. Think of a, a solution. A solution, or how you put something yeah, together. Could be a maybe use this a, thing and this thing right. to create something new. And if anyone has, you know, issues with their existing systems, they could send us an email or chat us, right. and maybe we could address that on the show. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, we're also going to have a lot of our friends from NAPO, the National Association of Professional Organizers, our or professional organizer buddies, as we call them. <laughs> They're, they're our buddies, right? They're, I think yeah. so. So uh, we'll have tons of them on yep. throughout the year, different yep. times. Mm -hmm. And then, in fact, a lot of them write blogs. And uh, That's Friday, our blogger roundup. Yeah, so, so we'll tell you what's going on out there in the organizing world, who's writing about what, talk about some of the, the uh, topics there. Right. Yeah, should be so fun. That's pretty good. So today... So today in the podcast flashback, yeah. we are going to talk go all the way back to podcast number 53 with right. Andrea Brundage. Right. And she talked about delayed decision disorder. Yeah, so you're of probably wondering what delayed decision disorder right. is. And uh, we're glad you asked that because we are going to, uh, we're going to find out from Andrea herself right now. What does DDD stand for? Well, DDD is an affliction that I've encountered many times working as a professional organizer. And what that stands for is delayed decision disorder. Okay, now is this a real diagnosable thing or, I mean, it, how, how do you know someone has it? You, you meet with clients, right? Uh, you put out a little prescription pad and say, oh, you know, you've got DDD and here's the answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not a true medical uh, description, but yeah. it is, in fact, what I find when I deal with um, clients that have piles of papers and accumulated miscellaneous items uh, throughout the house. Uh, one thing about DDD is it's not a problem unless you think it's a problem. So if we find ourselves surrounded by piles and piles of things and it's sucking the energy and the life out of us, we need to take a look and see if we can find a cure for that. Okay, now would every, uh, every person then who's got a clutter and mess have DDD or, or are there some other symptomatic things that when you go in and meet with a client and say, yep, yeah, this person 
we need help on it because really DDD and procrastination kind of uh, synonyms there, right? They really are. Um, one of the things I find is oftentimes DDD presents itself because we don't have the proper systems in place to support the flow of things that come into our home. And so not knowing what to do with the things often creates that, um, I think I'll just deal with it later, or I'm not sure what to do, or I'm gonna wait till I need help or get some help. Um, so there are lots of underlying reasons why we might be doing it, but the bottom line is we're still delaying decisions. So however, whatever form it takes, that's what's happening uh, when we start seeing accumulated papers, projects, uh, walking into our homes and going, ah, it's noisier in here than it is outside. That noise is created from a lot of clutter and chaos in our in our environments. Okay, so obviously you do house calls. You show up with your little black <laughs> kit and uh, you've determined they have DDD. What are, what's the first thing you would uh, help somebody with? Or is it different for different people? It is different for everyone. If, if we're going in and we're working in a home office, for example, the first thing I want to do is know a little bit about the business and what the vision for the business is and who is bringing papers in. And, you know, I need to understand the flow. This applies, though, I have to say, in any part of the home, we need to, I need to understand the flow and how this space is going to be used so that we can optimize it. We can create systems that are specific to how the people function in that environment. Um, and the key to DDD, to really overcoming it, um, in addition to having some rehab, is to create new habits. And those habits are formed by creating a system that is specialized to that client's needs. So it's not a one size fits all, it's not a magic pill. Okay, we're back live. You know, I realized <laughs> that while we put that on, we wanted to get people's comments. Right. I pull up the uh, iPad. This is live TV, folks, so this is what's exciting about this. Now we know what the this. pros feel like. <laughs> yeah. you know, we're just doing this in a little tiny studio. We don't have yeah. a big sprawling yeah. board so and I need a people. new flash player on my uh, <laughs> iPad, so therefore I couldn't see the comments, so I had to run back into the other studio and get the... Uh, Find out. Okay. Well, first of all, we want to do a shout out to uh, Cher Cheryl McNeil. Uh, please Hi, Cheryl. come to help me. Okay. We'd love to come and can help we, you. Can we take a trip? We could do a virtual trip. Uh, <laughs> actually, Cheryl, if you would uh, put in any kind of comment on what kind of help you would need with, what we will do is we'll get one of the professional organizers to come on. Good you know. Idea. We, we kind of play professional organizers, but we're not the big guns. We, we know some stuff. We, we know a little, a little bit, you know, after 200 podcasts. Yeah. So, but uh, <laughs> we learned quite a bit. We have the big guns that we can call yep. on. So, and also, Crystal, uh, hello from Colorado. Hi. Yes, great. I have a brother in Colorado Springs, so I don't know where you are, but uh, great. I've never been there. Oh, it is beautiful, yeah. the mountains, right? Okay. My husband's been there. I've never, but... Yes. Yeah, okay. Okay, DDD, Andrea yep. Brundage, we're mm -hmm. talking about uh, uh, really what is procrastination, but in a little bit different way. Right. But, you know, when you go to the doctor, and I know this is not a medical term. Yeah, she she says that in her article. Right. It's not a medical term. But there are symptoms that someone might look at. So what right. would some of those symptoms be? Symptom, symptoms. Um, anything from piles of paper, countertops cluttered, um, stacks of unopened mail, unfinished projects. I mean, the list, list goes on, I think. Right everybody has at least one of those problems in their right. life. If they don't, they're pretty lucky. Well, and I think too, when we get more into this in tomorrow's episode, we'll find out that, uh, you know, one of the things that stops people from getting organized is the overwhelm. So okay. they, oh, how do I even get started? Right. So that's really one of the first things that kicks in and we cover yeah. that in the podcast right. too. And that so, is one of the causes is just overwhelming, loss yeah. of focus, procrastination. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So anyway, I think uh, Andrew has some great, uh, great tips in both yep. the podcast and the article. You can mm -hmm. find those at smead.com. So we'd like to hear from you uh, in the comments. What kind of uh, issues do you have with procrastination? Or maybe you have a little life hack or tip that you would like to share mm -hmm. on how to do that. I mean, that's uh, you can put it in the comments for others to see, even if you're watching this on the replay. Yeah. And we know that not everyone's here live right. as well. So. Yep. Um, and coming up tomorrow, right? Yes, tomorrow we're going to go more in depth on the part of this 
is ties in with the cost of clutter. Yeah. Uh, if and this probably goes true for most uh, organization. If you get too disorganized, then then it, it starts costing you. Right. Yeah. Definitely. Time I mean, and money. Yep. Yeah. Lots so, of organizers have said, have given examples on how you know they'll go to someone's house and they're rummaging through stuff and oh, there's a check that they never cashed. Yeah. So right. it's it's a lot about cost and saving you money and in the long yeah. run. So. So we'll do a little bit of that tomorrow, but first That's we want to give you a sneak peek right. at what's coming up on Wednesday. We kind of teased this earlier. We've got uh, a new podcast episode, which we're going to start releasing these regularly at 2 p.m. Central on uh, Wednesday. So let's take a little preview of that right now. Well, coming up this week on Wednesday, we have a great new podcast episode called How to Get Organized When You Have a Chronic or Extended Illness, Either You or Someone in Your Family. And Julie Bestry from Best Results Organizing and juliebestry.com uh, is going to join us on that episode. Julie, you're with us right now. Can you give us a little preview on what uh, we, can, we can get in this episode? Absolutely. We're going to talk about everything from why uh, getting organized can help you so much, particularly when you have a chronic health condition, everything from reducing stress and preserving energy to increasing productivity and saving money. Uh, we're going to talk about systems, uh, behavioral systems and, and physical systems, how to get all of the information and resources you have, whether it's meds or paperwork, make sure that it's organized so you can access what you need um, and um, keep that energy up and accomplish everything you need to do. And again, we're going to talk about saving money because mm. that is a, a big help when you're sick to know that you're not spending all your money to keep yourself afloat. So, Julie, how does this relate to you? How did you, how did you know, how do you know about this? Well, it all started for me uh, when I was diagnosed with diabetes about six years ago, and I ended up um, going to a support group that's nationwide called Diabetes Sisters and interacting with other women with diabetes and uh, started talking about ways to make um, organizing so much simpler when you have a chronic condition. And I also have so many clients, people with MS and lupus and other chronic conditions or recovering from extended illnesses who, who need the support to go that extra step, not just regular organizing, but organizing specifically for all the things that affect you when you have an illness. Well, that's coming up this Wednesday, uh, 2 p.m. Central, 3 p.m. Eastern, and noon Pacific yes. time, right? We, yeah. We're still trying to get our uh, Facebook Live uh, <laughs> time times zones, right, yeah. but we'll get it down. We're in the middle of the country, so it's easy for us. We just have to plus or minus. Yeah. So, uh, Julie, we look forward to uh, having that podcast with you on Wednesday. Thank you. All right, folks, uh, we'll join us on Wednesday and- uh, And Julie. And we'll be right back. All right, so that was Julie Bestry, and I'm really looking forward to that podcast. That was, yeah. she's always great to talk to. She's yes. so full of energy. Totally. Totally, if and anyone out there knows her, she is yeah, tons she, of energy. And so. she might be drinking a couple coffees right now and <laughs> so. giving us the high five. Yeah. Hey, so uh, we had a couple comments here, and, and continue to keep your comments coming. Uh, even if you're watching on the replay, that'll help other people. But uh, uh, Kathy talks about how she found two small checks that she forgot to cash. And, <laughs> That's funny. Oh, yeah. Well, that it's happened funny to me. unless uh, you well, need Yeah, money. not funny, but uh, kind of funny. I was going through a stack of old greeting cards not too long ago, and yeah. I actually had them organized in a bin where I just yeah. kind of toss them. I thought, okay, I'm, it's time to actually yeah. go through and maybe get rid of some. Opening them up, opening them up. I found like $20 in one card. Oh it's my like gosh. 20 bucks is 20 bucks. Well, it buy is. me lunch for a couple days. I can't remember which podcast episode I was on, but I remember in it one was of them. Way back. It was way back. Way back, but I remember. They what found year. like a $3,000 yeah. check. Yeah, that was crazy. Because that was they had crazy. all the. So, uh, another one of those reasons you want to declutter because you never know what's going to mm -hmm. happen and what you're going to find out. So, uh, uh, Folks, uh, if you have any other questions or comments, you can go ahead and put them in the comments now. This is the long haul for us. We're going to yeah. be, uh, uh, we may take some days off if we go on vacation, and it is Monday through Friday, so. Uh, yeah. But this is about it, maybe 15 minutes uh, every day at 2 p.m. Central. 
3 p.m. Eastern. One noon. No, noon. Noon Pacific. Noon. One mountain time. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yep. And then if you're in Arizona, the time changes like twice. Then they have a year. to figure that out for you themselves. Have to be, we we don't are know. done doing that for Arizona. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, uh, so anyway, uh, it's great. And yeah, tomorrow we'll get more into DDD with uh, Andrea Brundage and uh, the article hey, that she wrote yeah. to go with her podcast. So yes. It's a pretty good article too. Yes. So. And we'll have the podcast on Wednesday like we talked about. And remember, like, share, comment, do all those things to help this community grow. Yep. And we'll see you tomorrow on myorganized.life live. Live.